Peter here, my weekly video blog. Taking my shoes off. Got these uh, nice Echo leather shoes that I got years ago. They've worn really well. Love these shoes, they're incredibly comfortable. And how about these socks? Got the gold toe socks. They're slightly different colors here. They were both black at one point. I got them from Costco, you know, Panda 6. My kids took most of the ones that match. So my shoes are off and I'm walking. When's the last time you did that? Now I'm just standing here. Sort of feeling the bottom of my of my feet. Put my hands in prayer up here over my head. Actually feels really awesome, particularly on a day like today, you know. And of course you got all this stuff, right? But, I don't know. You know what I'm doing now? Doing this, man. I had a tough day so far. I mean, today, today's Wednesday. Tuesdays are brutal for me. <laughs> Pretty cool to look up at this tree. the cloud. I wasn't even aware of the cloud. Man, my body's pretty heavy on the earth. I can feel it just kind of like a huge sack of potatoes just kind of being on the earth. And then, you know, you know, some of you probably never did this one, but let me just uh, suggest this, you know, so you sit here and, you know, I, I mean, I, I, Megan's filming this. So like, now I took that off. I, She's a fuzzball, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of blind without these, but there's a lot of good things that come when you take your glasses off. And one of them is when you, can you hear me? <laughs> I got to shout here a little bit, but when you put your head on the ground, you just put your forehead on the ground now. I, I mean, just saying, I'm big on the forehead on the ground, you know, in the Eastern tradition, this is the, 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 the spiritual eye that sees. And when you, you ground that on the ground, Good stuff happens, particularly when you get on the ground. And you do this, and you do that, and you bow before your Lord. You know, you do that before before the crucifix. You know, that's that's a good thing. I'm gonna take a pause here. I'm gonna bring you to another spot. Okay, come with me. Look at it. I'm walking toward the church, and look who comes out the door. Look at it. I mean, doesn't he look like a picture here? He got that beautiful blue shirt on, and how about that wisdom beard that he's got on, rocking the hat, and he's opening the doors. He's He's opening the gospel to me, the rector. I like that. Ed, thanks for welcoming me to the church here. You're now famous because you're on a video blog. <laughs> this, this could be different. It could be Hollywood Fred. Okay, so, got my shoes off. Come on in. Throughout many parts of the world, nobody would ever walk into a sacred space with their shoes on. And, uh, and they take their shoes off, not just to keep the, the dirt outside. Remember when Jesus says, shake the dirt from your feet. That's not just what they're doing, but what they're doing is they're reconnecting with the holy, the holy that can be, be that it comes through the ground, their groundedness and their holiness. And so one of the things I really love about Maundy Thursday is when we take our shoes off for the foot washing, I never put my shoes back on because I always feel more grounded in the power of the Spirit for taking my shoes off. You should come here. Look at this church. There's nothing more beautiful than an empty church, right? The walls are just filled with uh, the prayers of generations of people, and those prayers soak into the walls, and they soak into the ceiling, and they soak into the floor. You come here. Take your shoes off. You can sit. You can stand. Keep your shoes off. I want to show you one other place. Come on with me one sec. Here's Ed, still taking care of us. <laughs> we are up in the balcony. This is uh, one of the secret places to pray. You get a beautiful, expansive 
uh, a vision of the church, but you want to come in and find a, find a quiet place. Uh, over and over and over when I come in here at the off times, I see somebody up here praying. I'm just saying, I used to, I used to try to figure out whether I should pray in this pew or this pew, and, uh, and I look at those pews, but you know, if you find yourself a pew, you come in here and you do this, uh, you take your shoes off and you lie right here and you stare straight up. I, I gotta tell you, it feels pretty good. As long as you don't fall asleep, it's uh, pretty much a direct shot to the Lord here. Uh, I remember once I was praying here and I had an incredible experience. That's the Maranatha House Churches came from a prayer in that pew. I'm gonna go one other place. Still making a video blog on my way to my office, but check this out. This is a little of the uh, preschool in action here. Hey, I'm back to my office. Uh, uh, I've been trying to keep it clean, and on the video, sometimes I try to make you think it's clean, but you know, every, everything is not totally under control. Here's my door. Shut my door. We can see this. This is, you've been in here before. So, I like this room. Clean and it's light. And, Katie and Steve Roach's old couches here. Thanks, Katie and Steve. Yeah, wonderful. And how about this? You know, sometimes it's good just to sit down, and if you can do that, to tuck your legs. They call this easy pose in certain yoga worlds, and they want you to sit up. And I will just say, I know everybody can't do it. When I was on sabbatical, I called this hips hurt like hell pose because my hips, I did so much of this, my hips hurt like hell. But, you know, there's more than one way to do this. So you can do that, or here's a really great way. I spent years doing this. This is about the best possible way to pray because it takes all the, all the tension off your back and you can just melt into the Lord, right? All you're doing is your direct line, the whole thing. You got it. So what am I doing? Wacky, weird rector. The world's kind of a crazy place, right? We're going through the whole alphabet of hurricanes, and for these people in these worlds, I, I, I have no personal experience to imagine the devastation that they're undergoing. Last night when the earthquake in Mexico had finished unfolding, I, I thought maybe I was looking at footage from, you know, 10 days before, and and it's just kind of one thing after another, right? And whether or not your whatever your thing is, whether your thing is that or your personal issues with your health or North Korea or pick your thing, you know, sometimes it seems like the, the world is spinning on a kind of crazy way and articles start to say about apocalyptic things and here's what I would say. Take your shoes off, sit on the floor, lie down, stay grounded. Say your prayers way down low. I start every morning on the floor and I go on the floor at least one other time during the day, right? And whether or not you're doing like downward dog, you're sitting on your knees, you're sitting on your bahuki. Sit whatever way you can sit. Get down on the floor, say your prayers, open your heart, let it go, let it in. You're going to feel a lot better. God bless you. Have a great week.